Hey guys. I know I have a lot of explanation to do um, for the last time I didn't post my last series, my series last week. The reason I didn't post last week was because um, I had technical difficulties with my phone. Recording this on a different phone than my mother's phone, and now I have to record a different device. So um, that's the reason why. But was welcome to the episode four. Welcome to. Welcome to the episode. Welcome to the episode four of the reality show. And today is the reason. And today, um, I'm not posting anything because Stranger Things releases today, May 27th. And another announcement that this series only has six episodes instead of ten, so this series will end like June something. So guys, this series is not gonna last ten episodes. I can't. You know, it's gonna end with six enough. This is episode four, and this episode I'm gonna try to get just try to get my life together, try to be a different person. So let's go ahead and start with the video. So by getting myself together, I'm gonna start um, taking time on myself, actually turning to, to myself and actually, you know, being me. So that's what I'm gonna, you know, start doing, being me. So I'm gonna start, you know, just relaxing and taking the time to do what I want to do. But before I do that, I know I have heard a lot of people in the past and a lot of things that I've done. So I will be calling some people and let you know how sorry I am and how what I've done. Um, first I'm going to start with my mother. I just saw the last episode. I was being really an ungrateful child when I was going through what I was going through. Even though she was doing what I was going through, what I was going through. So I'm going to go ahead and say sorry real quick to her. Have a nice little short talk and then want to call. Believe it or not, Angelique, because I have a lot of apologizing to do with her. You guys have been really going through some with our with each other, so we're going to be talking about that. So let's go ahead and get with it. Hi. Okay, uh, in this video, I'm going to be telling you. So today's video, today's episode is basically, um, it's called Getting Your Life Together. If you don't know what that is, I'm pretty sure you don't. And, it's going, and it means that I'm going to be trying to get my life together. Okay. So, I want to start off by saying I don't know what I did to you. I don't. I don't know why you happened to just don't care. I really don't know what you're doing right now. But it's not it. It's really not it's not respectful. It's really not. It's not. So I don't think I don't know why you're doing that. But um, yes, I want you to go ahead and just say, what have I done to you? What have I done to you? What have I done to you? So I want to say, what have I done to you? To me. What have I done to you? Because obviously I did something more than I did to you. Being disrespectful. When? Every day. That's not true. That is true. That is not true. I'll be disrespectful every single day. Including today. That was not including today. It was. Earlier after school, it was. No, it was not. I will not be yes, disrespectful. It yes, it was. I was not being disrespectful. Yes, you were. When? Today after school. What did I say? What did I do? You're not giving me any reason. Talking back. How? You're not giving me examples. You're not giving me nothing. Like yesterday with coworkers. Why are you telling her all my business? Because you were. Tomorrow you don't get in grown folks' business. It wasn't even grown for you. It was my business. So what? You just shall. But if I tell your business, it's an issue, right? <coughs> I'm grown. <coughs> no, it's not. Mm -hmm. You're talking about me not having been rude and all that. I wasn't talking about but, you. I was saying you was getting some tissue out the trunk of the car. And you got mad about it. You don't have to tell everybody everything I do. Jamari, it's not a big deal. It was. You and obviously, you're, telling, you're going to be telling me. Oh, friends come and go and all that. But you have plenty of I don't know what's so funny. You have plenty of friends. And God bought them. Like, you know who. 
you just in the phone with just gossiping about them with um when you with your best friend and then we and then and then with your and then with your um yeah. then with then with her you was gossiping about her with your best friend. So I don't know about and you still talk you still talk to her and laugh at her. You're gossiping. That's not gossip. It's talking. You does the same You're thing. You're talking bad. And where you do you think I get it from? Where do you think I get it from? With your cousin on 106. Okay, but okay. Your at your school. Okay, but you're talking about about your family. And then when I do it, it's an issue. When I happen to do it one time, it's an issue. But when you do it most of you do it every single day. But when I do it, it's an issue. Yes, it's an issue. You do it every single day. Because y'all don't have business. I would do. No, you don't. Yes, we do. No, you don't. See. I'm trying to be nice. This conversation has lasted longer than I have liked it to. Yeah. You are not being reasonable right now. You being disrespectful. When I really was not, when I clearly was not feeling well today, I asked to go home and I did not. You didn't have COVID. You didn't have a fever. My head was hurting. I was coughing. I the to you. Mommy, my head was hurting. I was coughing so much. And my well, nose was what running. To you when my I nose asked was you. running. What happened when I asked you to take that cough medicine? I didn't want to take it. Why you didn't take it? Because it would help you. I just took it like an hour ago. It's not working. It gonna work. Take some more at 9 o'clock. I'm supposed to take it every four hours. Okay. It will work. This conversation is running me to say I am sorry, I guess. I'm sorry, too. For what? Go ahead. I'm with you. For not listening to you. Not taking what you can seriously. And what else? And laughing at you. Just what you have to apologize What you just, but you laughed at me like two minutes ago. And you disrespect you me you earlier. Laugh, you laughed me right now. But you disrespect me earlier and slammed right the door. I did sure you did. I did. Okay, that's disrespectful. You didn't apologize for none of that. I did. Multiple times. I, actually, you I did. I'm sorry, I guess. What type of apology is that? First of all, I said I am sorry, first of all. You didn't even want to apologize for cold work. I did not. Nope. I apologize to get Popeyes, that's what I apologize for. Okay, then when she give you some or buy you some, then I'm telling her don't buy it because you was a you. Okay, she wasn't she wasn't gonna I she was gonna buy it anyway. She was gonna buy it. With what money? If she broke you broke. Jamari. If she got a little money, she would buy some for you. I don't see your friends buying me nothing. Yeah, I can't get a bag of chips from none of your friends. They give it to me, not you. Okay, but who take you to the gas station? I don't get a bag of chips from your friends. I gave you your money I back. I didn't give you. Uh, you don't even buy me a bag of chips. First of all, I gave your money back, first of all. So I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, you don't give me nothing for your friends. I gave you your money back. So how that, how that I gave you your money back. I gave you more than I had. I gave you $27. Okay, but still, y'all don't offer me a bag of chips. But you want me to stop for you and your friend. I do. Is that right? Kind of. No, it's not. I don't get a bag of hot fried chips, nothing. No, because... I don't I, even get a sweet tea. At that moment, when you were laughing at me and and rolling your eyes at me, turning your head at me... No, when you were shaking I your... I don't even get a bag of chips or sweet tea. We'll call you back, Mika. We'll call you back. Yeah, we'll so call I'll you. call her back in five minutes. Yeah, okay. Um, when I was, when I, when you shaked your head at me, when you rolled your eyes at me, doing all of that, at that moment, I felt like when you took me, when I, when, at that moment when you disrespected me like that, I feel like I had no purpose. So what I did, I just started doing what you did to me. I started, I, just, I did exactly what you did to me. And now you're getting mad at me for doing what I did, the exact thing I did to you. So I don't know what you're getting mad at me for when I did the exact thing you did to me. Disrespectful. And I'm doing the exact thing you did to me. Mm, just like you disrespecting your dad. But you don't talk to And I'm doing the exact like same thing y'all doing to me. You don't do it to him. I am doing the exact same thing y'all doing to do me. To I am doing the exact same thing y'all doing to me. You don't do it to him. I am doing the exact same thing y'all doing to me. Well, you don't do it to him. I am doing the exact same thing. co-worker threatened to call your dad. You didn't say one word. She can call him all he wants. 
Yeah, she was calling him. Call him. I don't care. I apologize okay. for Popeyes. That's why. Okay. Then keep on apologizing for Popeyes because guess what? You won't get stopped nowhere else. You and your friends don't even buy me nothing. So guess what? Gas station over with. From now until June the 8th. Y'all don't give me a bag of chips or a sweet tea. I'm gonna give you a bag of chips, then. I'm gonna give you a bag no, of chips. Okay, no, no, oh, I'm sorry, no. I'm sorry. Mm-mm. <laughs> Y'all don't buy me nothing. Okay, let's have a bite some. Please, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Please, mommy. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Mm-mm. I'm sorry. Please, I'm sorry. I don't get a bag of Skittles or nothing. You will. I'm sorry. You will. You will start getting it, please. Mm-mm. You will start getting it, please. You will start getting it, please. No, I'm not stop. No, please, you will start getting it, please. Please, please, please. Mm-mm. Please go stop getting it, please. Stop getting it, please. In conclusion, I gather the courage to say, I, you, I'm sorry. I accept your apology. Now, what you have to say to me? I'm almost very sorry. Can you accept my apology? I guess I can accept your apology. Oh, thank you. But when I accept you, do it again, so I'm going to accept it this time. But do it again, I'm not going to accept it. I appreciate it. Okay. Then this part's over. So now you just saw I just apologized. That was a lot harder than I expected. But when you want to get your life together, then I have to do what you have to do. So, um, yeah. So the next part we're going to do is where I start doing this. That's going to make people happy, make me feel happy. About how doing things around the house make my mother feel happy. About doing a lot of things and make other people feel happy. So, just making me feel good. You know, just turn my life around. You know, turn the life around. That's basically what this video is about. So, what? See, she just run. I know. Junkie. That's why we're cleaning it. I use these cleaning materials because, you know, that's how it works. So, now we're going to start cleaning. So as you can tell us a day later, I want to just, you know, take a day off. It's a day later, so you know. We're gonna be taking a break from cleaning right now and do something else. So I feel like one part of getting your getting your life together is right expressing your feelings. And when expressing what you know you need to tell what happened in your life. So I'm not gonna tell you exactly what happened in my life, I'm gonna tell you what things that you don't know. When I was growing up, I didn't really have a lot of friends. I mean I had friends, I didn't have a lot of friends. Growing up, I was constantly in trouble with everybody else having fun, and I always looked at the world not having the best look of me. I always felt that the world had something against me, so that, so that's why I started to be kind of rude, disrespectful, and by doing that, I guess it caused a lot of issues within the family. And feeling really sad lately is just not it. Now, I've kept a lot of things private on this YouTube channel, but I think I'm going to go ahead and just express it right here. I feel like by doing youtube i always had never a choice i always had to do it i mean at the start it was fun i got to do videos but now i have to edit do a lot of this hard work which is stressing me out which i constantly have to do every single day 
And by constantly doing this every single day, it was stressing my mind out. And I was stressing my mind out. I took a break, a month break, and then immediately came back. I was at my lowest point, and I shouldn't have done that. But I love you guys so much. I made a horrible series. The marathon season season two was not that good. It only had three episodes. I was stressed with all it. I didn't even have the courage to produce the last the last two. And which is why I want to make it up for you guys by making the marathon season three. The marathon season three will be premiering on YouTube June something. Okay, I think it'll be the date will be probably June twenty fourth. June twenty fourth marathon season three will premiere. So I'm trying to have a better series with that, and I'm trying to have, you know, a better series. Um, I'm also trying to do a lot of things, but I can't do that because my mind's not really in the right place. You know, friends, I learned that friends come and go, but I also learned that family also comes and go. Family does also come and go. A lot of people, a lot of friends, a lot of cousins, a lot of siblings, I haven't heard from my sister for about six months now she lives in ohio haven't heard from her in a while and only calls when she needs something and i feel like that really hurts me of how she only calls when she wants something i feel like she never calls just to check up on me or anything so i never talked to her back i tried doing it again and then it did not work i tried she ended my birthday party in 2020 you know kind of constantly talking to her then i stopped talking to her in may because i feel like and I answered so and then I tried again in December well October I don't remember some of that and she couldn't come I guess she couldn't afford her or anything I understood that but just not calling me back again was really not right to do that it really was not right to do that but you did but I feel like everybody has a reason for what they did and everybody has to be accountable for their actions <coughs> Also, I've also had problems with allergies, and, you know, it's just that it's crazy how the world treats you, and how the world sometimes does not care about you. I felt a lot of pain in my life, but I was able to overcome that, and I don't know if I'm able to overcome that again if it starts to get overscaled. But you know, life has been horrible lately. There's going to be a buck with you. Life has been horrible lately. It all started January 19th. What is it? It's May 20 something. That's four months. Four whole months of going through this. Now I know you'll be feeling the same way. I know when people treat you bad, you will do the exact same thing back. But I'm trying to turn my life around. And that's what this video is basically about me just getting my feelings out everywhere and making sure and really making sure that i can share with other people because i really have stage fright but i'm talking in front of people almost every day also other incidents in my life where i've always felt like some something or someone was preventing me from being successful in life i've had a lot of nightmares in my life i guess you know you know that and these nightmares have caused me anger and stress. One time, I remember when I was on punishment in about six or seven, and I had this dream about me straying into the floor in this fire pit, and I could not breathe. You know, I had a history of not breathing because I have asthma, and by not breathing really scares me. And then when I was not breathing, I was really in a panic. And then when I woke up, I was stressed. I don't know. This continued to happen for years and years and years now. And I don't know how I'm going to deal with it. I, I, I just don't know. Talking to people obviously is not working. Some people don't care. Some people laugh at you. Some people don't care. Some people just think that you that use that goofy person and to never be serious before. And that's me. But, you know, people come and go. And that's what you have to realize. I've also I've also been having a lot of headaches. And those headaches have 
have caused me to have a lot of stress in my life. And those hair creaking in my hair. So I think it's because I haven't had glasses in a while. So I'm trying to think. I already got that. So I should be wearing them right now. But I'm not. So no. Also, school. I just found out that I'm not on the summer school list. Which is good. But this whole year has been a lot of stress. A lot of hard work. A lot of things. A lot about parents not caring about me. Like about many people about caring about me. But it's time to start doing things for people. Which is why we're here today. And in today's episode we're doing things for my mother. Who has done so much things for me. And I just take them for granted. So first we're going to start by doing a lot of things around the house. To start helping her. So first we're going to start by creating my room again. Because I haven't got that done. She's asked it for weeks now. So let's get that done first. So now that we got the floor managed, we're gonna move on to this nasty bed. I got this little shit right here and maybe we can put it on the bed. Where's the tape?
Mommy, mommy. Yeah. Come here. Look at the room. Wow, look nice. Come on, I just got to keep clothes clean. Good night, mom. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Good night. Good night.